Watch me as I take off. I'll be working until I have all of my days off. Then I'm surfing in California when I'm paid off. I'll be blurring my vision, sipping on that bass sauce. La da da, watch out, I'm coming, yeah. I know, I know, I'm a hustler, I go. Got me running, running, got me gunning for thrones. I won't go back, no pass, no pass, so fast, I'm gone. Grow fast, big splash, all cash, like Watch me as I take off. Be working until I have all of my days off. Then I'm surfing in California when I'm paid off. I'll be blurring my vision, sipping on that bass sauce. La da da, I'll be eating Kobe steak hot. La da da, got that fish sushi. Thank you guys for joining in on your Saturday for this Fat Money Racing Association Cup race. <coughs> right now we're watching Brett Aldridge, who was the fastest during practice. And let's go ahead and see him uh, make his way around. And everybody gets two laps to try to set their fastest lap here at Concord Speedway. See, oh, right now, Tyler Ferguson sitting on the pole. Let's see if that brings it back around. And Trey Fanta. No, Mike Storm. If that holds, Mike Storm is going to be your pole winner. And it looks like that is the case. Mike Storm on the pole. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could remove your hats and all rise. Awesome. As we get ready to start, I'm going to go ahead and run down the starting order. This man drives the 001 for Snap On Racing, driving the Snap On Chevy. Mike Storm sitting on the pole and sitting next to Mike Storm. We got the 387 Fat Money Wrestling Chevy for Fat Money Racing. It's Trey Fanta. Next row back in third place. We got none other than the seven of christian gun playstation is the sponsor chevy is the car and he drives for gamble motorsports and the big thing about christian gun right now is christian gun sits second in points then we got the double low seven snap on racing snap on sponsored chevy driven by chris chaos 
Now we got, and these are going to start getting out of order, guys, so I'm just going to go row by row instead of uh, in numbers. So, anyway, we got JMR in the Dunkin' Donuts Ford Mustang for Rich Money Racing. Number 57. We got the number 18, Clark's Craft Beyond Chevy for Fat Money Racing. We got Austin Kiesler. We got the 21 of Tyler Ferguson. Jordan's is the sponsor for that Toyota Camry for Ferguson Motorsports. We got the 69 of Joseph Robinson. Ric Flair Drip is a sponsor on that Chevy, and he drives for Brain Buster Racing. Or Motorsports. Could be either. Aaron Aldridge in the Car Quest Ford Mustang, number five for Aldridge Racing. We got Rory Thompson in that number one Maconi Setup Shop LLC Chevy. Four Rad Roots Racing. We got the 74 Thomas Daniels Buck Kicker Chevy. Four Brain Buster. Motorsports. We got the number eight, Brett Aldridge, Gatorade, Toyota Camry for Ferguson Motorsports. We got the number six, Valvoline, Ford Mustang, Ryan Chess is the driver for Aldridge Racing. We got the 710, Sparco Chevy, Chronics High behind the wheel for IDK Racing. We got Billy Ray Dog in that next level racing, double O. Ford Mustang. We got the 98 of Brad Miller. Logitech is the sponsor. It is a Toyota for biggest Miller racing. We got Ralph Beginnis at the 99. Gaming Alternative Media Entertainment Toyota. And this is for biggest Miller racing. We got Christopher Rich next to him in the 59 Artemis Ford Mustang. And that is for Rich Money Racing. We got the 24, Sophie Ray Dog, and that McDonald's Ford Mustang for Ray Dog Racing. We got the 002, Snap On Racing Chevy, a branded cook for Snap On Racing. We have the number 15, Triple C, Fat Money, Eating Ass Car, gonna be rebranded soon. Chevy for Fat Money Racing. We got the 420 of Zane High, and that Yokohama Chevy for IDK Racing. We got the 26 of Barry Stern Parts Jr. and that Kellogg's Chevy for Rad Roots Racing. And we got the 11 of Corey Gamble and the DraftKings Chevy for Gamble Motorsports. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your order. Let's get ready to have a great race. Storm only his second race, and uh, I mean, first time finished top five, and it looks like this time he's on the pole. Uh, picks it up pretty quick on the outside there. He's got Chris Chaos in the snap on uh, racing. Snap on is really starting to dive into their cup team. You got Brandon Cook back there in the back. Right now, leading points is uh, Barry Sternparts Jr. with 319 points. And so he's going to be looking to hold that lead. But, I mean, Christian Gunn, Brett Aldrich, Rich, and even Joseph Robinson, maybe even Triple C and Chronix uh, have the ability to jump positions, depending on how it turns out tonight. But let's watch Mike Storm bring everybody around to take the green flag here at Concord. Circle, but we're in a try over. I guess. And Trey just takes off on Mike Storm. Mike Storm now trying to play chase down Trey Fanta. Christian Gunn is now held third. A lot of cars shifting and moving as this one is took off from the jump here. Let's jump back a little bit, not that far. Everybody banging and pushing here, trying to get through. Chris Chaos has now found his way into fourth place there. Tyler Ferguson in tow.
See if we can get a little better angle as Aaron Aldridge is now trying to pass JMR. A little pushing from Austin Kiesler to JMR's real bumper. And these cars are back stretched out here. Trey Vanda is pulling away. 100 laps, guys. We're going to do uh, halfway being the caution of 50 laps. So we got a good ways to go. Trey Fanta is trying to get away from Mike Storm. Mike Storm's starting to catch. But right there, Christian Gunn. We got Chris Chaos in fourth. And then bringing up top five, Tyler Ferguson. Aaron Aldridge not too far off Tyler Ferguson, though. And it looks like some of the cars who we thought we're going to have a great night here. Having some issues. Zane High, promising young talent. IDK Racing having a lot of trouble as of late, and uh, the owner has made it very apparent he's not happy about it, and he's looking to get it fixed out soon. Uh, Triple C is back here as well. Not really used to seeing uh, Fat Money Racing running towards the back. And you got Corey Gamble of Gamble Motorsports back here as well. Kind of odd. Uh, Brad Miller, Christopher Richmond going around here as well but if we get back to the front Trey Fanta now pulling away from Mike Storm how much can these boys take right now we see a position fight Chris Chaos is trying to get around Christian Gunn Chris Chaos is going to go low Tyler Ferguson might go with him but no they jump up to the top there Let's see can we get a better angle here no nope, don't like that one either Christian Gunn is now pulling away from Chris Chaos and Tyler Ferguson just trying to hold on to the top positions we're already 13 laps in, about to be 14. These cars go fast around this track, ladies and gentlemen. Fanta starting to slowly pull away from Mike Storm having a great run here at Concord. Barry Sternparks Jr. having a tough time here at Concord as well. Sitting back there next to Triple C. Chronix has now moved his way to 18th, right behind Christopher Rich. We got Brett Aldridge, who was one of the fastest cars during practice. Back here by Brandon Cook and Joseph Robinson. Sophie Raydog sitting about mid pack with uh, Billy Raydog, her dad, sitting right in front of her. Rolf McGinnis kind of in play here. Austin Keys are trying to find his way around the Aldridge racing team and uh, see how these boys are racing and pretty decent as Austin Kiesler is still fighting there Aaron Aldridge ahead of him Chris Chaos up here in seventh JMR six Thomas Daniels has worked his way up to fit Tyler Ferguson is sitting fourth right now Christian Gunn in third trying to reel in the boys of Mike Storm Trey Fanta we're coming up on the slower cars and uh, this is where things start to play out traffic and Mike Storm is going to start to catch real quick as uh, we're only about halfway into the halfway <laughs> get it uh, right now Trey is hoping that Triple C can open a window for him here hopefully Mike 
both of them owners of family racing trips he got down in front of Brad Miller this is going to give Trey a little bit easier of a time if he can find the opening he needs to push himself past Brad they get Miller racing sold off their truck team at the beginning of the year so we're going to focus on cup and it's somewhat paid out for the team I mean they've had some top finishes they'll actually be able to afford uh, their, their cup team next year as long as they don't do any crazy spending as of right now so that's uh, that's big news for that team Trey Fanta starting to get caught by Mike Storm as he is trying his best to get around Brad Miller but just cannot find the opportunity we're now halfway through our halfway from 25 into 50 and then 50 to 100 so uh, the halfway caution will be thrown at 50. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're working to. That's what we're halfway towards. As we are 26 laps in. Uh, and we are watching the leader trying to find his opportunity. But look who's also catching now. These guys are taking too much time getting around these cars. And not only has Mike Storm now caught up to Trey, but Christian Gunn is also right there. And I believe right next to Christian Gunn, Tyler Ferguson. Trey's starting to realize the urgency here, and he's trying to find an opening. And as of right now, there is not one. There, there is not one forming. Brad is running the best he can to keep Trey behind him, and Trey cannot get his nose in on any straightaway, which is letting Mike Storm and the rest of the pack get a breather and kind of catch up here because Trey has a fast car. stack up on the leaders Trey is starting to get his nose inside there if he can hold it that's a different question but Mike Storm is hoping for any and all mistakes as he gets closer Brad almost caused the leader to wreck gave Mike Storm the opening he's looking for and we are starting to stack up again folks 32 into 50 see what happens Mike Storm now on the outside and we might see a lead change. Oh, Brad getting caught in the middle. <laughs> Almost wrecking our leaders. Right now you can see it. Trey trying his best to keep in front of Mike Storm, but Mike Storm has found a little bit of a fast line there. Trey's going to get ahead of him again, but coming out, does Mike get a little bit ahead? And he does. 35 into 50. And Trey just trying to get in closer. Rory is going to mess that up. Trey needs these cars out of his way and right now Christian Gunn now in the mix chaos is erupting 36 into 50 Mike Storm gets a leap ahead but not for long right now Mike Storm and Christian Gunn trying to get up there Tyler first are going to make himself known as well coming around this corner Mike Storm has took the lead back going into the second half here and look everybody's starting to stack up behind him Trey is getting pushed by Tyler Ferguson
ladies and gentlemen, 10 laps until the halfway mandatory caution. And currently, nobody a lap down if Rory Thompson could stay ahead of Mike Storm, but that might be better e or easier said than done as uh, coming across the line still ahead. Trey Fanta back on the search of Mike Storm himself. Trey seven Trey's gonna pass on the inside Christian Gunn right there as well Christian Gunn gonna go with Trey Trey's gonna cross the line in the lead Christian Gunn's gonna go with him Mike Storm holding on Here comes Thomas Daniels and Tyler Ferguson as well. Mike Storm still trying to hold in there with five to go. Right now the cars in front are just trying to stay on the lead lap and the cars behind them are trying to get the lead away from Trey and Mike Storm. Starting to get the edge again. And this could be bad for Trey. Not getting the line he wants. And Christian Gunn trying to set us three wide. Trey not ahead coming across the line. Oh man. Side by side. Mike Storm gets ahead. Mike Storm going to drop down. One to go. Mike Storm coming around. Tyler Ferguson falling back. Mike Storm is going to cross the flag and take this halfway win. Doesn't really mean all? nothing because winning the actual race is what matters, but hey, that's still a big deal. Being up here in the front. Did Christian Gunn get second? Looks like he did. going down pit road Thomas Daniels is gonna stay out I don't know how it's gonna play out for Thomas Daniels but looks like everybody else is going to pit road See if Triple C ended up going down pit road, and he did. In fact, Thomas Daniels is going to be the only car to have not hit pit road at this halfway mark. Mike Storm seemed to have made it out first. Christian Gunn, Trey, Tyler Ferguson, JMR. Who's that behind JMR? Oh, Chris Chaos. Chris Chaos made it out. Austin Keesler there. So this is going to be a unique restart. Some different cars have pushed their way through the pack. To add to the mix here. Thomas Daniels choosing 
to bypass pits was an awkward choice. I don't I don't know about that, but we'll see. Next time by, I think we're restacking them. to the end. Pace car is pulled off. Mike Storm still finding a way to stay on the front row. Green flag. As we go into the second half. Here at Concord in the Cup race. Mike Storm leaps ahead. Thomas Daniels fall, dropping like a rock because he did not choose fresh tires. He did not get a fresh car. He stuck on Christian Gunn. Which is going to let Trey and Mike Storm pull off. Thomas Daniels goes to pit road. And looks like Mike Storm, Trey Fanta, and JMR get a mighty leap. And Austin Kiesler made his way through that as well. Brett Aldridge. Calm, cool, and collected, and stay ahead of that 387. If anyone can touch Mike Storm, he's got the clean air and he's just pulling. Trey is trying. Oh, it's no avail. Daniels has dropped one lap down. We see the group at the back here. Just fighting for position. Zane High, Triple C, Billy Radog, Corey Gamble in that mix, along with Sophie Radog, Rory Thompson, and Brandon Cook. And then another group a little bit ahead of them. He's got Ralph McGinnis, Chronic Side, Joseph Robinson, Ryan Chess, Brad Miller, Chris Chaos, and Tyler Ferguson, who didn't get a good jump, I guess, after Thomas Daniels dropped. Barry Sternparts has made his way up here along with Christian Gunn holding on. 
Christopher Rich, Aaron Aldridge, Brett Aldridge, Austin Kiesler. And Brett Aldridge being in fifth, Austin Kiesler fourth, JMR third. And then we'll check on Trey Fanta here in second, and Mike Storm first, who's starting to catch up to these other cars. Mike Storm been dominant this race. Trey, uh, Trey held most of the laps in the first half, but Mike Storm was right there with him. And uh, once they hit lap traffic, Trey or Mike Storm found a way around Trey, and now back to being dominant once again. Snap on Racing made a wise choice going with Mike Storm for that 001 cup car. I hear they're still trying to place somebody in another cup car. Let's see how that goes for them. Right now, Trey is just kind of sticking with Mike. He's trying to gain on him, not really getting much closer, a little bit by little, but what is getting closer is that pack right there in front of Mike Storm. And Trey knows that that is where it's going to matter. With only 25 laps left, 26 laps left, uh, once they get caught up to them, them cars, it's gonna be a race. If he can get up there, he can be in contention for it. If you look around this track, you can see some of the patches that have been laid over time uh, in spots, mostly right there where they just passed. Right here in this corner, right up there. And uh, most of the people avoiding it, you can see. Mike Storm starting to catch up. And Trey right there. So is JMR. Austin Keesley, Red Aldridge, top five. Storm has met him, but Trey is now on him. Trey's going to go low. And we're now side by side for the lead. Mike Storm has an opening. If he can get through, this could be detrimental. Trey is just sticking to the back and saying hi and giving pushes. Like, don't let him drop down. Still in the lead, but Trey is starting to wear him down. Look 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a side by side race for a little bit between Trey Fanta and Mike Storm. And here comes Austin Kiesler. Mike is dropped down in front of Trey, and we're back to straight line racing. Austin Kiesler has worked his way up here. If you look who else has worked his way up here, Aaron Aldridge is now in the fifth place position. Looking real good for Aldridge racing there. Mike Storm catching back up to these cars. And this is where things are going to start getting interesting once again. Mike Storm going to go low. Trey wants to go high. Austin Keys are going to go with Trey. So is Jay Marr. Austin Keys drops down. Trey is trying to get past Austin Keys is trying to find a spot. 11 laps to go and top five are all on each other. Trying to pull away Austin Kiesler. Trying to get up here as well. Trey, a little bit ahead of Mike Storm. Trey almost cleared him. Trey did. Trey Fanda just put Mike Storm in second. Austin Kiesler in third. Aaron Aldridge on the bumper of Austin Kiesler. And Trey tries to position himself to go middle. Not enough of a run. Mike Storm is even going to push him through. Aaron Aldridge trying to work his way up to third. Mike Storm trying to get back first place. Austin Kiesler drops down, puts a stop. Aaron Aldridge for the moment. And Aaron Aldridge trying to hold on now to fourth place. But have no fear because here comes Christopher Rich and Brett Aldridge. Side by side, Austin Keys are looking for an opening. Trey Phantom making his way around. Still in first. Mike Storm holding on to the door. Austin trying to push us in the middle. Trying to push us three wide. Three laps to go. Austin pushes Trey a little bit. Still wants to send it three wide. Two laps to go. Fighting all around for positions. We're Slap white flag in the air. Mike Storm holding on. Mike Storm falling back to the door. Trey Fanta gonna win as they come across the line. And he does. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, top five goes as follows. Trey Fanta, Mike Storm, Austin Kiesler, Aaron Aldridge, and JMR. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you guys tonight. Make sure you tune in Monday for the SK race, and I'll see you on the next one.
Great job, Trey. Great job, Mike. Great job, Austin. And everybody else in the top five. Catch you later.